Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today's video is going to be all about Miriam. Um, this was recorded beforehand, so I'm going to quickly play... This is what I recorded, I think, yesterday, and this is how the sound came out, so you can just listen to it for a little bit. Let me just stay quiet. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing post-commentary. Let me hit up that Donkey Kong Country 2 soundtrack. Here's Miriam. Today's video is going to be all about her. Uh, I hope you like it. It's a little bit delayed. I wanted it to be out uh, yesterday, but hey, it is what it is. Miriam is a very interesting unit because she has this skill right here. Um, so the Dragalia Twitter has basically already said like, yo, this is meant for the, the Rise of the Sinister Domain quests. So the strength amp that she has, I think, is a little bit slow for what you want to do with, I think, current. And I think it also has to do with the fact that I don't have the... The one, the, the one dragon that's based on skill haste, I only was ever, 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 ever able to pull one ver copy of her. So that kind of hurts me a little bit. Um, but she does get it fairly quickly. The second skill is really slow, um, but she really feels like she's specifically built for Rise of the Sinister Dominion, where it literally wipes all your... Um, your stats, everything away from you. Her, she basically is able to um, escape that. So I'm showing her off on what we have available um, and trying to like do my best. It's unfortunate because I don't think she really needs to be in the first slot. I think she, I, I've been using her since more off screen. She's much better as a another unit on the team and not the first slot. Now here I talk about the Mercurial Gauntlet. I don't think she's very good for the Mercurial Gauntlet because. <laughs> Her ability, first of all, only lets you dodge if it's not a purple attack. So if you're getting hit by a purple attack, the 30% ch chance of dodging she has when the entire team has Strength Amp um, doesn't apply. So you really should not be using her for Gauntlet, which okay. Um, fair enough, I guess. She's just like not quick enough with her healing on skill 2 to um, effectively be a part of that. At least from what I found with the current team that I'm rocking her with. Uh, so we're going to go into High Mercury. I debate, I think, for a brief moment about going into Master. I have since beaten it on Master on Auto with this team, so it's totally possible. <laughs> I should have just done it. Pass Wookie is a freaking coward. Look at him. Good look at him going into Expert like a damn fool. Should have believed in Miriam, but instead he's not. Um, so yeah, like I said, kind of the one thing that I have a, it's not really a gripe, but it's really just more a fact of the matter, is that Miriam is really built, not, it's really unfortunate that the only way for me to showcase her, I have to directly use her, um, because she's better as a unit that, like literally as a support unit, she's not the kind of support unit where they're better in the first slot and you can actually use them, at least from my small testing of them, I feel like that she, that's not her best place on the team. Um, obviously, if you're doing um, co-op, you have no real choice. But even then, I think you have a lot more leeway. Like, every other person has a lot more skills to kind of do what they need to do, and you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But So in co-op, it's a little bit of a different beast. But when you're doing solo play, I really feel like um, she's better as one of the other side units. She also gets a defense up um, buff, which is very nice when she's, of course, when the AI is not controlling her, which is very nice and very helpful. Um, the strength vamp also is pretty nice because I believe it is a 40 or 50% boost to strength, which, with, again, with the mindset of the Rise of the Sinister Dominion, um, that's a pretty nice buff to have and not get rid of immediately. Um, yeah, you can see her, she got completely popped by that bubble. But you can see here, we had no real problems, but that's because, you know, Mercury is not the beast that she once was. There was a brief moment in time in Dragalia where Mercury was the fight I hated to fight most, and she wasn't even the hardest Akito fight. I think she was pretty tough in Masters because of her stupid bubble thing, but now you can easily face roll her. Um, the one thing I did notice while using her, and using her specifically with a 3 DPS team, is that some of my clears were faster, and that's because she was pumping the team full of just pure damage. The main problem I have with my setup right now, which is a problem with my setup and what units I have available in win, is that for the next fight here in El Cilia, no one has um, and the ability to remove buffs, which is very important for this fight coming up. Um, if you don't have that, then it kind of really slows everything down, I feel, which is unfortunate. Um, 
so I do have to kind of use one skill, the Ranzel skill, the, the most useful, one of the most useful skills out there, the Ranzel skill. I do have to kind of make use of it here. Otherwise, I think she would probably be better if you had a, I don't know, maybe Ellie's other skill, maybe her own skill. She does deal a decent amount of damage on her skill too. The only problem I have with it is it just takes a while to get going. Um, of course, this is still early on when I did it. If there's a better build, by the way, if you've made it this far in and you want to uh, share the Miriam strats, I will gladly listen to it. Um, I really do like this unit as much as it's a very simple kind of unit to use. I do think it's kind of um, shitty <laughs> to release a unit so clearly built for this Akito, not this Akito fight, for a future fight in the Rise of the Sinister Dominion that is not out yet, but I guess fair play they've been doing that pretty recently as you can see here we got the sleep off so everything's good everything's copacetic um she summons the crystal arrows but it doesn't matter i've been used to dealing it with um legend so that ice arrow that ice arrow used to get me a whole bunch it doesn't get me anymore um but anyway miriam back to the girl of the hour um i could see a lot of people end up saying like oh, i don't think miriam is very good but I don't know, I really do end up liking her, and I wanted to know, I don't know how much of that is just because she's Mim. I think I really do like, the, the one thing I really do like about Dragalia is for the most part you can literally use any unit you want with any combination you want. Um, so I'm free to use Miriam. I've been actually trying to find different team builds and different warm print builds that kind of go with what she wants. Um, I kind of like the idea of her being the only healer on the team. The problem is that I think she needs a little bit more defense to be able to be used in... Like, it's hard to, like, say, like, oh, I think she would do perfectly fine when, like, t uh, you know, Templar Hope is just so good for auto specifically that it's kind of hard to kind of deviate away from that. From Okay, so if, if that's the case, I need to use Templar Hope. I don't know if she heals enough for her to be actually you know what with templar hope with all the defense going up i think she might actually be good enough to take the main healing role away from maybe lowen but i don't know maybe no hmm. again it's a lot of like team stuff building specifically in my mind where i'm like well what if we try this the one thing i do want to try is with her with galanot which i don't do not have as, as of this recording at the moment um i really do wish to get her i kind of want to build up the yukata um what is his name? Bunny Man. I cannot believe I'm forget. I want to call him Silas, but that is not his name. Luca. Oh my god, I forgot Luca's name. <laughs> oh, poor Luca. Luca deserves better than the way I'm treating him at the moment. Um, but yeah, every time I think about like, oh, what would be a good way of using her? The one thing I kind of wish that she was able to do regularly is use her dragon, but she can't really do that. As you can see here, she didn't really have much trouble of dying here at all, but at the same time, I'm in control at this moment, so of course she doesn't have trouble dying to certain things. <laughs> one thing with that bolt of arrow, though, was enough to almost completely knock her out, but I digress. Um, nice job, Pokey. Okay, you did alright. You didn't die. You did pretty fine. I, I still think Celia has the highest rate of just, oops, I accidentally died with those stupid arrows. I, it still occasionally gets me. You want to play brain dead, and then Celia does that stupid move, and you go, oops, oh no, everything's bad. Uh, but yeah, my final thoughts on her is that I do really like her. I kind of like the strength amp. I like her um, strength building up. I did end up using that treasure on something else later on to build up for stuff later. I kind of want to experiment with her more. I want to kind of see what I can do with her. I do think that really what most people are looking forward to is Rise of the Sinister Dominion. I think that's where most of it, that's where she's going to shine the most. At this moment, I feel like she's good, but you have to build a team specifically around the idea of like, okay, I'm using her. Let's see how she is. Um, well, that's dumb because you can do that with any unit. I don't know. I want to say she's good because she's Mim. That's my basic thing here. Like, it doesn't matter if even if she was bad, which I don't think she's bad. Uh, even if she was bad, um, I would use the hell out of her. But I'm actually very happy with her. She's not bad. I do think her strength, she's built kind of with stuff forward in mind. And I do think her strength stuff can be interesting if I can specifically find the right team for it. I think the team I have right now is more set up for T-Hope and stuff like that. So I need to, like level up more characters or get Galanot and stuff like that so 
that's my current feelings at the moment. So of course, if you have Miriam you've been using her, feel free to tell me what you've been using, what you've been rocking. Um, if you're waiting just for Surprise of the Sinister Domain for the right moment for her. Again, 100%. I, the only reason she's in the front is because I have to showcase her. Otherwise, I think, like, uh, using her normally, um, I've had a lot of success actually using her in, like, the third spot, and she's been great for the auto team, and she hasn't really died. Like, I was able to uh, complete auto EC without um, dying um, and using her, so I think she's pretty good. And here, I think, is me kind of going, like, man, I want to summon badly, and I choose not to. By the way, my free multi did not get me not, and then I threw a ticket, and that gave me nothing, so... Another day of waiting. But that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, you can always leave a like. As always, I'm more than happy to hear what you have to say about Miriam. This is a unit I super really like, and I'm interested to see what people have to say about her. So that's the end of today's adventure, though. See you guys next time. And there's the black screen of death. Oh, no. I didn't, I didn't want to leave it on a black screen, so here's a picture of my dog, Pandora. Or the family dog. She's very good. Look at her. Staring. Saying, please stop taking a photo of me. I'm trying to eat this bone. Please. <laughs> now that's the end of the video. Goodbye, everyone.